thank you. I am a pancreatic uh, surgeon and pancreatic cancer researcher um, at UCLA and in the Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center. Pancreatic cancer is notorious. Uh, whenever anyone hears about it in terms of the research community, most, most people run for the hills and don't want anything to do with it. But it's, it, is, it is the number four leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States. Um, so uh, what, what, why go into it? Well, you can see that there's a desperate need to improve the treatment and diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. My laboratory in particular is focused on uh, the molecular genetics of pancreatic cancer. We're looking at the tumor cells, but also the rich supportive cells that help those tumor cells grow. In fact, pancreatic cancer has the highest amount, volume, or density of those supportive cells that help that, those tumor cells grow. Um, which may contribute to its poor prognosis. There have been some recent improvements in, in treating pancreatic cancer. For example, there are multi-agent chemotherapeutic regimens that have just been shown in the last two years to double the survival from six months to 12 months for patients with metastatic pancreatic cancer. And also there are um, uh, stromal or uh, the, uh, the uh, agents that target the microenvironment associated with this tumor that have also shown to improve the, the, the prognosis of patients with this disease. We are beginning to develop a way to target this, these microRNAs, which are notoriously difficult to target, and we're, uh, we're currently developing a nanoparticle to try and target uh, one of these particular targets that, uh, that we are very interested in because it looks like it's driving the biology of this tumor and it is also up in 70 to 80 percent of patients with this cancer. So it, it really, the, the, the potential impact of this treatment is, is, is great and it could affect a lot of patients. 